All right, guys, welcome to leg day. It is the second leg day of the week on the athletic bodybuilding split. And this first move I'm gonna show you guys, I actually got it from The Rock. I tried The Rock's insane leg workout, posted it on my IG and TikTok if you guys follow me there. And I really love this one superset he does. It lit up my quads on like anything I've ever done. So we're gonna start off, not a, like a super heavy weight, but a weight that I can handle for a good 15 to 20 reps. Then we're gonna superset with some dumbbell walking lunges. So this one is brutal. We're gonna start the workout off right. So legends definitely think alike because one of my first leg workouts I did with Charles Glass, we did the exact same superset where he had me load up real heavy on the leg press. And then we're actually just doing body weight walking lunges, hand above her head that day. But that shit was, holy shit, I'll never forget that leg workout. I literally thought halfway through there's no way I could finish. So this is a really great mass building move. Make sure on the leg press, you don't actually lock out your knees. I know I was doing it for years and years. I didn't know it was a dangerous maneuver to do, but I've seen enough social media injuries to know, never lock out your knees on the leg press. Plus it just keeps the quad under direct tension. Actually makes the exercise a lot more challenging. It's gonna help you guys build those quads more efficiently. taking a couple weeks off from heavy squats, kind of injured my lower back, which is pretty rare for me. So this is a great mass belly move. You guys are gonna blow up those quads. This move right here is gonna blow up your quads and I get a great quad contraction on this. I should get a better quad pump doing this than I do doing any type of squats. So you're gonna notice this move right here. We're gonna angle our feet out and you're gonna feel a lot of activation right here on the inner quad. So really great for bringing up, you know, skinny legs, chicken legs. Typically skinny legs will be really thin on the inner part of the quad. So this move right here is perfect. It's also really good on your lower back. Didn't feel my lower back at all. Essentially what we're doing here is a dumbbell front squat. Now what I like doing on this move is I'll actually get a hard contraction of my quads at the top of every single rep. I'll elevate my heel. This allows for a really easy, deep range of motion where you can get your glutes involved. If you guys have trouble getting parallel or below parallel doing barbell squats, this is a really great exercise. Anytime you're able to go a little bit deeper, you're gonna engage your glutes as well. So this move right here, pure mass builder. So I'm actually doing something I normally don't do, but I am in a calorie deficit. I'm trying to make sure I do not lose muscle mass. I did build muscle mass. So I'm drinking protein. I usually don't work out in the afternoon. My calories are kind of low today. I'm only at like about a thousand. So I'm drinking 40 grams of peanut butter candy, superhuman protein. It's 100% away isolate. So it's not gonna f up my gut or anything in the middle of the workout. It's lactose free, almost no carbs and no fat. So macros are really clean. I got an epic post-workout meal in store for you guys, but for right now, I gotta keep the protein intake in. Also, comment down below if you guys are on a bulk or a shred right now. I just wanna know how many of you guys are doing one versus the other just so I can make sure I do the right kind of content for you guys. I definitely wanna do a full day of eating video for you guys soon. So apparently there's this muscle in your legs called your calves. <laughs> All kidding aside, this move right here is killer. I started doing this in quarantine back in Manhattan Beach when I lived there in my garage. It's an exercise intended for basketball players, but it will blow up your calves. So you're gonna do a static hold. You're just gonna hold that position. You're gonna put like a 25 or a 45 pound plate down on the ground, hold it for 30 seconds, and then rep it out. I'm doing 115 pounds. Pro tip on calf training, obviously you wanna get a good squeeze at the top, but another really critical step to building your calves is that stretch. And that's exactly why I'm elevating my toes on a weight plate, so I'm able to get that nice stretch at the bottom, get that good squeeze at the top. I have earned a big post-workout meal, so I will see you guys there. Somebody can cross the bridge up here. Styles. All right guys, we're in a mall, apparently, 
They still exist. I assume people just bought shit on the internet, but we're trying to find post-workout sushi. I got a huge cheat meal. I've not had a proper sushi cheat meal in about two and a half weeks, so great time post-leg day. Get in some quality protein, quality carbs, a little bit of sodium. We'll see you guys there if we ever find it. I'll do a spicy salmon roll, spicy tuna roll, spicy yellowtail roll, seaweed salad, and uh, tobiko nigiri, please. Yeah, that's good. Can I get a side of ponzu sauce too, please? Perfect. Awesome, thank you. A little action shot, the tobiko. So we are at the wonderful raw sushi on the Las Vegas Strip. And believe it or not, because they put the calories on the menu, this entire sushi cheat meal is only a thousand calories. This is really not gonna put too much of a dent in my weekly diet at all. So almost all protein and carbs. Perfect post-workout leg day in the books. I got a good question for you guys that I want you to answer down below because I was just talking about the topic of dream cars with the man that met the legend behind the camera, Ray. So his dream car is a Lamborghini Aventador, you said? Yeah. So they're like 250000 approximately. Comment down below how much money you think you should have in your bank account if you're gonna say buy a $250,000 car. There's obviously no right or wrong answer to this. I'm just really curious what you guys are gonna pick. So comment down below. And if you guys have missed any of the other workout vlogs this week, I'm gonna throw those down in the description below. It is time to eat. I got some post-workout gains to make, so I'll see you guys on the next video. No gains. You ain't no weights.